Welcome to FlexiBeats Tutorial 2. Today I'm going to show how to create every instrument sound in a pattern from scratch using FlexiBeats own synthesis tools and we won't even leave the vocal line untouched, we'll apply a vocoder on it. Let's do that first. Here's the vocal sample I'm using and here's the carrier sample. Let's have a listen to the vocal sample first. Seeufer. Sie stinken. And now, the carrier sample. A simple saw pad sound. In order to vocode the vocal onto the carrier, we first render the carrier. Next, we open the vocoder on the vocal sample in channel 1 by going to the advanced panel, enabling the vocoder and configuring it. We enable the vocoder. We want to vocode channel 1 with channel 2, attack and decay at default, and we set the band sliders in a sort of smile shape. I want the vocoded sound to be brighter than the other instruments, so I go to parametric EQ and apply a high pass filter. In the effects group, I bump up the amplitude to make up for any drop in level due to the vocoding. Now render and play. And now for the instrument sounds. I've just loaded any sample at all into these channels here so I can access the edit buttons to synthesize my sounds. The rim sample here won't be used at all in the sound creation. In the first instrument channel, I'm creating a kick drum sound, so we press the edit button and in the panel that opens, we choose wave 1 plus wave 2 because we'll make the sound with two oscillators. Here's the setting for the first oscillator. A sine wave of length 170 milliseconds varying in frequency from 50 Hz to 150 Hz. I've set the level of the wave to decay and frequency also to decay from 150 Hz to 50 Hz. Now for the settings of the second oscillator. A saw wave of length 110 milliseconds with a slight phase offset varying in frequency from 80 Hz to 800 Hz. I've added some feedback distortion and a tiny bit of noise to the waveform as well. Again, I've set the level of the wave to decay and frequency to decay from 800Hz to 80Hz. I've set a few effects as well. A bit of distortion A, some distortion C, some low pass filter with resonance, and also some mild compression. I've also bumped up any gain lost through the compression. Finally, in the parametric EQ, I apply a low shelf filter which boosts a broad range of frequencies below the cutoff. Now we render and play. Next, as a second instrument, we want to create a snare drum type sound. So we press the edit button and in the panel that opens we select wave 1 only because we'll make the sound with only one oscillator. It's a sine wave of length 200 milliseconds with fixed frequency of 300 Hz, maximum phase offset with feedback distortion and some noise added. I've set the level of the wave to decay. And finally, I've set a few effects. A bit of distortion A, some distortion C, some delay with a very short delay time set, mild compression, and there's a bump up of gain to compensate for any volume lost through the compression. Now we render and play. Next, as the third instrument, we'll create a relatively simple hat sound. We press the edit button and in the panel that opens we select wave 1 only because again we'll make the sound with only one oscillator. It's of length 60 milliseconds. The setting here of a sine wave of frequency 100 hertz doesn't matter because as you can see the noise slider is almost at maximum making this sound almost pure noise. The only other thing I've done is to set a high pass filter in the parametric EQ to emphasize only the upper frequencies. Now we render and play this very simple sound. Now as the fourth instrument, we'll create a bass sound. We press the edit button and in the panel that opens, we select wave 1 to frequency modulate wave 2. 
Here are the settings for the modulator wave 1. A sine wave of length 300 milliseconds with a fixed frequency of 80 Hz. I've set the level of the wave to a decay. Now this feeds into the carrier wave 2 with a moderate feed in level. It's a sine wave of length 500 milliseconds with a fixed frequency of 100 Hz. A little feedback and noise is also dialed in. I've set the level of this wave to a decay as well. Now we render and play. Now as the fifth instrument in our sequence, we create a short buzzy synth sound. We press the edit button and in the panel that opens, we select wave 1 only as this is a single oscillator sound. The settings of the oscillator are a saw wave of length 150 milliseconds with fixed frequency of 200 hertz. Once again, we set the level of this wave to a rapid decay. The only further processing on this sound is a bump up of the overall gain. Now we render this straightforward sound and play it. For the final instrument, we'll create a two-tone hollow lead type sound. We press the edit button and in the panel that opens, we select wave 1 plus wave 2. The first oscillator is a square wave of length 500 milliseconds with fixed frequency 500 Hz. I brick wall the level of this sound at half its duration. Here are the settings for the second oscillator, very similar to the first, except for the frequency, which is set a bit higher at 800 Hz. I've set the level on this wave to a very gentle decay. Now I've set a couple of effects as well. Some chorus to make the sound a little bit thicker. And I've also added a tiny bit of reverb so that the sound doesn't sit as harshly in the mix. Now we render the sound and play. Now we're going to put it all together. We take the solo off the sound and enable all the sounds we've created by ticking their on checkboxes. We don't tick the on checkbox of the carrier of the vocoder because we don't want to hear that in the mix. Actually, I might just pan the bass and buzzy synth sound a little so that the mix fills out the sonic space a bit more. Right, now let's hear what the whole thing sounds like. What we're going for is instant electro. Thanks for checking out how to use FlexiBeat to make all the sounds in a mix.